Hi friends and family, it's Mary Lynn again. I hope everybody had a great weekend. Today is Sunday and I am making this video because tomorrow, Monday, will be my final day of direct beam radiation. Wow! Insert applause here. <laughs> I am looking forward to it. Um, because that is a treatment that I typically have to go to Monday through Friday. And it is very quick, um, but it is just such a hassle to go there every day. And I'll be glad when it's done. So I'm looking forward to that. And then Tuesday will be my last day of chemo. That is really exciting. Um, so I'm looking forward to it for obvious reasons, uh, but this Friday on June 15th will be my first brachytherapy procedure. So my treatment isn't complete, um, but I guess you could look at it as being two thirds complete. The three portions being direct beam radiation, chemo, and then the, uh, brachytherapy radiation. So... These two will be done on Monday and Tuesday, and then I have three weeks of brachytherapy. And then, supposedly, that will be uh, the end of treatment. Um, so, like I said in previous video, we already know that my tumor has shrunk. Um, the tumor that's in my cervix has shrunk, but we don't know if uh, the cancer that was in my lymph nodes has stayed where it is or if it has spread other places, we don't know that because I haven't had another PET scan. So I'm sure once the brachytherapy is done, they'll do another PET scan and I'll have more info for everybody. Um, so I'm looking forward to it, like I said, but I'm sad because I had been wanting to do a celebration. You know, all the patients that I've watched online and talked to, talk about um, celebrating the end of their chemo and the end of their radiation. And especially the first one, it's a really big deal. You know, it's, um, it's a big deal. It's, it is. And um, I'm really disappointed because my family, my immediate family is not going to be here. So I cannot have the celebration that I was hoping for. So that's really sad. It's really sad. Um, I, had, I had wanted them there for the final treatment days. <clears throat> so I, I'm not going to be celebrating this week. <clears throat> I doubt I'll do something in the future because, you know, once the moment's gone, the moment's gone. Um... And I hope that I don't have to have any more rounds of treatment. You know, hopefully one and done. That is my hope. That is my prayer. Um, although I have been mentally preparing myself for the possibility that this isn't the end. Um, but I am still hoping for the best. Best case scenario being no more treatment in remission. Remission is the goal. It'll be nice when I get to say, I am Mary Lynn Cowan and I am in remission. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. So I wanted to do like a little summary on how I've been feeling because the last week especially has been super hard. Um, I've been getting a lot more side effects from chemo and radiation, radiation more so, um, my pain has jumped, um, like seriously jumped. And I'm still managing. I'm, you know, I'm still, I'm still okay. It hasn't quite taken over my life, but the pain is getting worse. And the doctor has told me recently and the pharmacist um, that my pain will be increasing exponentially. It will continue to get worse. So <clears throat> they're preparing for that and I am ready for that. 
but I've also been much more sick. Um, just sick all the time. I have been extremely tired. Um, the fatigue is, is growing. I get tired just walking from room to room. Um, up and down the stairs is killing me. It's no joke. So even though, like I said, I'm having more symptoms, more pain, more illness, more fatigue, um, dry mouth, um, no hair loss. Thank goodness. You know, the doctors told me that they didn't think I would lose my hair. And thank goodness that I haven't. I've been very grateful for that. Um, and I'm still working four days a week and I'm able to do that. It's been a lot harder the last week, um, week or two working has been getting a lot harder. So if this process continues, I'm not sure how much longer I'll be able to keep working, but I will work as long as I possibly can because I need to, and I don't want to just be sitting here doing nothing. So... I, I'm doing good, you know, it could be worse, even though I'm feeling worse all the time, um, oh, the hot flashes, I get super, like I'm having one right now, like I'm just like super hot, like I get super hot, and because of the radiation, various parts of my body will just randomly heat up in certain spots. Like all of a sudden certain areas of my body will be on fire and then everywhere else will have the chills or vice versa. Um, very strange side effects from radiation. Um, my arms look terrible. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I'm, I'm constantly telling people, I swear I'm not a drug addict. I swear. Like literally, okay, you see this bruise? This bruise was from a single stick. I went to get blood work for chemo done today and he, at first he had to try like four different veins. They weren't working. He was searching for it. He hit the vein, but then the blood wouldn't come out. And so he finally got it in one try on this vein. And literally, like, I'm not kidding you, within a few hours, that huge bruise came up like huge bruise. I've got bruises all the way up here, here. I've got all these like the veins are like swollen and bumpy. It's super weird. But yeah, I look terrible. I look terrible. I'm like always telling people like, I swear it's not, it's not what you think. Like I started thinking if it gets worse, I'm going to have to start wearing like long sleeves all the time because I'm so embarrassed. I'm like so embarrassed. I'm like praying people are not looking at me and thinking terrible things. <sighs> anyway, so even though my symptoms are getting worse, um, I'm, I'm proud of myself. And that was one of the reasons that I really was looking forward to celebrating was because, you know, I, even from the beginning, I never, I never even thought, like, why me? Like, why me, God? Why would you pick me? I never blamed God. I never got angry. I still don't feel angry about it. It's just a fact. It's just something that's happened. And I can't be angry about it. What's the point? I mean, that doesn't change it. And I know that a lot of patients do feel anger. And I totally respect and support that. And if that's how they need to, to deal with it, more power to them. I, I am not knocking anybody's coping mechanism when it comes to cancer. Like, honestly, whatever works for you, do it. Um, sorry, my voice is getting a little hoarse. But, you know, in the beginning, I cried and... I was scared, but I, and even now, I mean, I feel like I could have been negative. I could have 
you know, I, I could have been angry. I could have been frustrated. I could have, I could have done all these things and I didn't, you know, I didn't. I got up every day and I went to treatment. Even when I did not want to, there was a couple of days when I was just so tired. I was like, I just don't want to go anymore. I don't want to go anymore. And I, I still went. I never missed a single day. And because of that, my, my chemo and radiation are finishing exactly on the day that they were supposed to. I am completely on track and on schedule. And it's because I never missed a single day. I just feel proud that, you know, I didn't let myself get depressed. I didn't let myself get down. I didn't give up. You know, I didn't give in. I didn't complain. And I know it sounds arrogant, like I'm, I'm bragging about how great I did. But I just, I just wanted to celebrate that. You know, I wanted to celebrate everything I've done. I was diagnosed March 30th and you know, it's been not even three months and I'm already almost done with treatment. When the third brachytherapy session or procedure is complete, it will be two days before the three month anniversary of my diagnosis. I've done a lot in three months or less than. I've done a lot. I've worked. I've gone to treatment. I got up every day. I didn't get depressed. It could have been harder. You know, it could have been much harder and I'm grateful that God decided to make this a little bit easier on me, you know? He was like, you know, Marilyn, this sucks, but I'm going to make sure it's not too horrible for you, you know? And again, I have to thank, you know, the family members that have constantly expressed their support to me and their love and you know, everybody at church, at Hillcrest, thank you so much for praying for me. And everybody in Las Vegas, thank you for praying for me. And, you know, it's not over yet. It's not over yet. But we're on the road. We're on the road to completion. And I, I do feel like I'm getting there. I'm getting there. And even though... You know, I had wanted to do this celebration with my loved ones at the end of my treatment cycle. And I'm not going to be able to do that now. You know, hopefully I'll, I'll figure out something to do to celebrate. Because I am proud. And I think I have a right to be proud of myself. Yeah, I mean, I think I did okay. I think I'm doing okay. I think I'm doing good. Anyway, more to come. Love you guys.